what is going on guys hope you guys are having a fantastic day now i've done a bunch of videos on the 200 series but this particular version is a spec that i like and i want to show you guys actually because it's got the factory gold color it's the v8 1vd diesel and it's a 2016 model and what do you get with the 2016 model you get the refreshed interior the facelifted interior and of course you get one of my favorite interiors which is the tan color this beige sort of color check this out all right guys so 2016 land cruiser what came new with this well first of all i must admit i just love how comfortable land cruisers are i was in the nissan patrol i must admit these 200 series seats are just way better in every way compared to the patrol they are also ventilated you get all your seating and heating and you get this brand new interior check this out So as you guys saw, I mean, I, uh, as a Land Cruiser guy, this is my dream. This is, um, I'd love to get a, a, a 2016 Land Cruiser with this type of interior. I'm just blown away. I do like the facelifted interior. I don't know what you guys think, but I was tired of the, the interior that they had from 2008 all the way up to 2015. And I think they did a great job with this facelift. It feels bigger. It feels more muscular. Uh, I've got good headroom. This this seat is a, is definitely very high up. Um, but it looks fantastic. And this is the 1VD, so let me get that started and take you through that. So this is the 1VD, uh, the V8 diesel engine, guys. Got plenty of torque, plenty of grunt, and uh, yeah, it runs really well. And as I was telling you, Land Cruiser 200 series with the tan interior. This is just the spec that I would go for, guys, and it's so, so comfortable. Now, of course, you've got lane, lane, uh, lane assist and a bunch of different safety features that you get when you move to the 2016 Land Cruiser versus the other versions. The only things I don't like are uh, when they came, when they moved to the, to the 200 series, um, is actually the fact that, like I told you in the Nissan Patrol, you get bunch leather. In the 200 series, you don't get bunch leather. You get super, super comfortable seats, nice tan interior, you don't get bunch leather and you don't get the best leather and that's why i've seen in a bunch of 200 series that the leather uh tends to wear down and there tends to be wear on the driver's seat and other areas even tears in the leather so that's not particularly good but the build quality you guys know the toyotas are well put together on their interiors i wouldn't say the best of the best of the best because they do have issues sometimes but they're generally well put together. But yeah, I'm not, there's certain things that they could have done better. And I, I have a Land Cruiser Cygnus and that's why I, I say these things because I feel like Toyota quality over the years has cheapened just a bit. They still used to do the previous, you know, the 90s and the early 2000s vehicles. They used to do them better. But um, if I was to get a 2016 Cruiser guys, this would be, this would be the one because I really, really love it with this refreshed interior. Uh, you know, the, the big door handles that, that we're used to with the 200, but with this refreshed interior, with the new AC vents and the way this sits and this center console area, with all your crawl control, all your uh, four, four low and four high, you got a center diff lock, you can tr turn on off traction control, you got your second start, you got your automatic transmission uh, in the high high power mode. Uh, you got turn assist in this particular vehicle where the vehicle will actually break the rear wheels for you so you can actually turn in a much smaller radius. So, you know, those of you who own Land Cruisers and you got the older versions and you're facelifting them, you guys are missing out on those small features that Toyota um, updated uh, when they changed the vehicles. And one thing is the speedometers. I'd, I'd definitely tell you guys the speedometers are much better 
in this 200 series. I love this speedometer versus the new LX or, uh, or, or you know, even the 300 series. Simple, well laid out dials. Oh man, the, the 2016 Cruiser is the one for me, guys. It just is. So with the diesel cruisers, what I love, and I, you know, this 1VD feels exactly like the new 300 series 3.3 uh, uh, liter diesel, if I'm honest. Feels exactly the same, but they're different engines. And I just wanted to show you the torque. Uh, I'm used to my petrols, but they re these diesels really pick. Check this out. So you can see the vehicle has got proper, proper pull and uh, that's what the diesels give you, that low end torque. So if you're in ruts or if you're navigating those sort of things, you get a lot of usable power in the low ranges. And so that's all I need to show you of this, of, of a diesel Land Cruiser is that low end torque. And of course, with the 2016, you got this updated screen. So you get just a bit better visibility in a Land Cruiser, but signature Toyota, they gave you <laughs> the crappy quality. It's not particularly high quality, but hey, it is what it is. So I hope you guys enjoyed and if you did make sure you hit like, subscribe, comment down below, let me know what you think, let me know what car videos you want next and it's been Masai Gaines checking out a Land Cruiser 200 Series 2016 which is the one I'd go for with this factory gold color that I really really love guys so with Masai Gaines checking out.